Hello everyone, this is Dart from PariahCast, and this is a closer look at Terran Units Part 1, the fourth installment of a video series to help explain StarCraft II to others. In this video, we're going to start looking at all the units available in the Terran Army. Every race in StarCraft II has workers. The Space Construction Vehicle, or SCV, is Terran's. To build an SCV, you need a command center. The main jobs of an SCV are to collect resources, and to construct buildings. They can also repair mechanical units and Terran structures. The SCV also takes one supply. Next, we'll be looking at units that are trained in the barracks, also known as infantry. The first infantry unit you can train is the Marine. The Marine can attack both air and ground. It can also receive the upgrade combat shields, which gives it 10 more health. Another upgrade the Marine can receive is Stimpak. This allows the Marine to attack and move faster for a limited time in exchange for damaging itself. The Marine takes one supply. Next is the Marauder. It is your heavier infantry unit. To build it, you have to have a tech lab attached to the barracks. The Marauder can only attack ground units. It can also receive an upgrade, Concussive Shell, which allows its attacks to slow down enemy movement for a limited time. It can also use the ability Stim, and takes two supply. Next is the Reaper, which requires a tech lab attached to the barracks to build. The Reaper is a raiding unit, which means it is used to attack your opponent in a non-direct fashion. The Reaper can only attack ground units, and it can jump up and down cliffs, giving it more mobility. It cannot use Stim, however the Reaper can get an upgrade, Nitro Packs, which allows it to move faster. It also takes two supply. The Ghost is a specialized infantry unit, which requires a tech lab attached to the barracks, as well as a Ghost Academy to build. It can attack air and ground, but it cannot stim. The Ghost requires energy to use its abilities. Under the health bar, you'll see a purple bar, which indicates the Ghost's energy. Energy recharges slowly over time. The first ability the Ghost can use is Snipe which is a long-range, high-damage, single-target attack. EMP is an AoE ability, which means it's an ability that affects an area. It damages Protoss' shields and reduces the energy of enemy units. Cloak is an ability that makes the ghost invisible and not able to be targeted by enemy units until it is detected. Energy will continue to be used the entire time the ghost remains cloaked. The Ghost can also launch nuclear missiles from a Ghost Academy that deal catastrophic damage in a wide area. While the missile is launching, the Ghost has to stay immobile until the missile reaches its target. It can also receive the upgrade Mobius Reactor, which allows it to start with more energy. The Ghost takes two supply. The StarCraft II terms for this video are Macro and Micro. Macro is efficiently controlling your economy, your infrastructure, and your unit production, and Micro is controlling those units to the best of your ability to get the most out of each one. Well, I'm Dart from PariahCast, and I'd like to take a moment to thank the community for all the support and feedback we've received so far. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we're going to be looking at the remainder of the units in the Terran Army. That includes the units that come out of the factory and the starport.